this journal page I am starting with a girl that I have already sketched and shaded with pencils and then I have gone over her with a wash of my hand mixed skin tone mixed with a little glazing medium to thin it out and make it a little more translucent. Now what I'm doing is applying some burnt umber also mixed with a little glazing medium. This helps it flow a little bit and be a little sheer. I'm just bumping up the shading a little bit throughout her face and down her neck. And then I'll be adding a little bit of white for the eyes before I move on. I'm adding Lumiere's in pearl turquoise and pearlescent blue to the eyes. I really love the glow and the life that the Lumiere's bring to the eyes. When the painting is finished, you'll see what I mean. I'm going back in with some more burnt umber mixed with a glazing medium just to bring the eyebrows forward a little bit. They were kind of hidden behind the flesh tone so I wanted to bring those back forward a little. I'm using a fine tip black sharpie to define the eyes which isn't giving me the look I want so I'm going back over it with some black paint mixed with a little water. Next I'm going in with some quinacridone crimson just in the spots on the lips that I want to be the darkest. I'll go back over that with a lighter pink later, which unfortunately didn't record, but you'll see the lips filled in in a moment. Now I'm just using a little bit of gray to create the shadow that is under the eyelid. I'm going to touch that up with a little bit of black just to deepen it so it's a little more of a smooth transition to the black line. And then I'll be adding the eyelashes, also using the black paint watered down, and a somewhat dry brush to get the feathery kind of sketchy feel to the lashes so it's not just a solid cover up. I'm sorry I'm out of frame there a little bit, but you can get the idea. Okay, here's a real quick replay of me painting the eyelashes because on fast forward it almost looked like I was painting them backwards and I wanted you to see how I do it. Here I'm just going back into the lips again with a little bit of that black just to deepen that crease in between and then a little more burnt umber with the glazing medium to adjust the shading and also a little bit of the flesh tone to correct any mistakes or brighten up some areas. Again, also mixed with the glazing medium. Now I'm just coming in with a little bit of white on a detailed brush to add some highlights to her face. Now here's where you can really see how the Lumiere paints on the eyes really do cause them to glow and just look alive and I really like that. And lastly to finish up the eyes I'm going to add a little bit of highlight over the eyelids. Now I'm coming in with some Neo Color 2 watercolor crayons and just a brush with plain water to blend those colors around. Then I'm going over that with some Tim Holtz printed tissue paper that I am adhering with some matte medium. You can see I used the sim colors as I had already put on the page apparently cleaning off a marker or testing a marker or something. Next I'm coming in with some dilution sprays and as you'll see now my yellow pump is jammed so I'm just going to open the bottle and apply it directly from the stem straw down inside the bottle and as you can see cover your face if you're going to use sprays around it. Now I'm using some portfolio water soluble oil pastels just to deepen the colors on the right side of that page and as you can see I'm diluting them with water which is not something that I do often usually I use my fingers to smear them around 
but I just thought I'd give this a shot for today. Next I'm blocking out where our hair will be with white just to cover up some of that color so that the teal that I'm going to apply on our hair stays true all the way around and isn't just a little too green up in that top corner. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in all of our hair with its Golden Fluid Acrylics Teal. While the teal is still wet, I'm coming back in with a little bit of white to add some highlights to our hair. And I like to do this while the paint is wet so that they kind of blend and I just like the way that that looks. Now I'm coming in with Golden Fluid Acrylics again in turquoise and I'm just using this to go around frame her face and then I'm also going to add some darker streaks of this throughout her hair as well. Here I'm adding a white block around the butterfly just because I want that to stand out as a detail on the page. Here I'm using the water soluble oil pastels again to outline that block and then a little finger tapping as I try to figure out what I'm going to do next. I'm coming in with some text and I'm using a little watered down paint and a finer brush to write that in. And I just don't know if I like it in white, so I'm going to add some black on top of that. And as you'll see in a few moments, I'm going to wipe that all away and start over. The next portion of the text is going to be written using a black brush tip pen by Faber-Castell. I decided that I didn't like the black that I added to the words that were painted in white, so I used a damp baby wipe and carefully wiped them away. Because they were still wet, it really wasn't that hard to get off, especially on top of the oil pastel. So that's the good thing about acrylic paints, is especially if the under layers are dry, you can wipe off anything that you put on top that you don't love with a baby wipe or a damp towel. So there you have it, one finished art journal page. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, leave me a comment, I like all of it. I will respond when I get back from vacation. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great week.